thank you all for being here. Thanks, Rev. Great to be with you. Nira, you were there in 2008. Mm -hmm. As Clinton's 2016 campaign gets underway, what are your thoughts? Look, I think that over the next few weeks, she's really going to be listening to people about their concerns, sharing her concerns about the country. I think we were most successful in the past when Hillary was able to really hear from people. This is something she's done throughout her career. She did it in New York as a Senate candidate, as a senator. She really wants to hear from the American people about what's, what their anxieties are, what their hopes are for the future, and show them that she has a vision for moving the country forward. There are new challenges today, and they call for new ideas and new leadership, and she's going to hear from the American people about those issues. When you say new ideas, new leadership, are you referring to new as opposed to the present president? Are you referring to new as opposed to the Clinton years? What do you mean new ideas and new uh, leadership? I mean that these are new times. It's not the 1990s. It's not 2008. You know, we shouldn't be relitigating the issues of the past. I'm saying that, you know, Hillary has core values people know about, but the country is in a different place than it's been in the past. And she'll have to lay out her views on those issues. You know, she's not, I, I presume she's not running for the third term of Barack Obama or Bill Clinton. She's running as her own candidate, the person who cares about the country's direction and will have ideas around those.